We haven't done a good morning and turning lights on video for a little while. So here we go. Good morning, teddy bear. How are you doing? He, he always pulls faces in the morning before he gets his breakfast. Hello, Anniekins. Did you get the big box last night? You lucky girl. And then she usually pees or poos as soon as I come in. And then we got little rainbow boy, Nero. You get, you've pulled your hay net down, I see. Of course you have. You get to go in your newly electrified turnout today. And then we've got a Twix. Morning Twix. Where's D? Where's MK? Oh, I think that's D. MK's probably still hiding. Yep, that's D. So, good morning everybody, and how nice. We've not got rain at the moment. What a lovely change. Very unlike you, Hoitzer, to not be standing by the gate waiting for your breakfast. Clearly the grass must be coming through up there. Here's little jobbers. <laughs> uh, I love these two. Oh, it's a tells him off, but he always gets it. And you'd be amazed how much he can get through that muzzle. Not that he should be eating this. Look at that grubby nose. They are comical, these two, aren't you? You're going to dribble it all over him now. These two have already checked out each other's stables. Anya to see if Teddy had left anything interesting in there. Bear to do the same with Annie, just licking out her feed bowl. And Nero's still eating because he gets a, a bigger feed. Teddy Bear is having his third and final shockwave therapy today, so Rob will be coming along later. You're adamant that you want something. I don't know what it is, Twix. Eh? I see that you polished off the food in the office as well. And Teddy Bear. It's a momentous occasion today. It's not momentous. It is. I'm so happy. Come. So, so we're currently uploading the pockets, so we've got a necklace, polos, ooh. Yeah, but nobody knows what this is, Hole. So Hole got this bargain of a coat that I'm massively jealous about. It's similar to my black waterproof one, but it's in, I was going to say green, but you'll tell me off. Yeah, it's green. Is it green? Well, I don't know. Oh my God, there's my menstrual cups too. Oh! Oh, so, how on earth am I going to share this video now? You and your menstrual me, cup. Excuse me. Yeah. Menstruation is a normal part of being a healthily a healthily female, <laughs> all right? So, don't you go shaming them. I'm not shaming them, I but just, just the fact that they were in your pocket with your yeah, poo I need bags. To throw those away actually because they're old ones that I don't use anymore. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> but this coat They were the wrong size. I, 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 whole, 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 it's too much information. Um, this coat, which is just the most disgusting thing. Can we do a ritual burning of it? Uh, we're not allowed to burn it. Oh, no, we're not. I would cobweb, Tracy. I can't believe you should suggest such a monstrous and devious thing. I know, but look at it. It's just grim. How many years have you had that coat? At least two or three years old. So where's it going to go? Then. Yes, you're being filmed, Nero. Are you going to take yourself? Are you going to lead yourself out to the walk this morning? <laughs> oh, you are a funny boy. Hey, Nero, are you brushing his tail? I am brushing his tail. I believe that's what it is. You think? Yeah. Are you sure? I am. 100% sure. And you can get some of this tail hair in a beautiful little keyring. Oh, look at that. That absolute advertisement whiz. 
Yeah, I'm good at advertising. So risical. Do you know what Riz is? No, I have no idea what Riz it's is. It's your ability to pull. So your ability to pull in buyers of our products. Oh. Marketing Riz, go on Tracy. I'm not, I'm not a seller. I'm not a salesperson. Sales people are very good at being economical with the truth. I'm not very good at that. You're just far too honest. <laughs> well, actually, that's going to make what's going to be what makes you good at selling because nobody wants to buy from an irritating salesperson, but they do want to buy from a caring friend. Oh, is that is that the line really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to seal the deal. Look. He's having a nice time. But if, on a serious note, if you do want to purchase one of these earrings with Miriam's hair in, they are available from our website with a little rainbow charm because he is our walking rainbow. <laughs> right, let's go walkies. But if you don't want to buy one, that's okay too. Yes, it is. We probably shouldn't say that. That's probably making us terrible salespeople. Like, we'd like you to buy one, but don't buy one. It's just not a very good argument. Buy one argument if you want one. Yeah, yeah, Only buy, buy one, one if you want one. one. He was really quite quiet yesterday, and he spent most of the day in. But I think all the horses love that top barn. They love being in there, and he's actually quite happy now to be on his own in there. It will be a different case once he's on his own outside and that's something that over time he's got to learn to get used to because he prefers having a companion because that's what he's been used to all his life but we'll slowly introduce him to periods of time outside on his own so that he can begin to learn that it's nothing to be worried about but we'll go on the walk now yeah? This morning he was getting a little bit impatient walking off the walker so I've just brought him back in here because when they're in the walker because they have the partitions coming up behind them it does make them a little bit anxious because they need to keep moving otherwise the partition is going to bop them on the bottom. So when they're coming off first of all that can unnerve them a little bit and they can get a little bit forward so he rushed out of, of the walker this morning. Go on, go back, go back. So I've just brought him back in a couple of times and I just want him to stand here quietly, lick and chew as he's doing now, and just be relaxed. He just needs to know that he can't just rush out of here every time and he has to do it in a nice, slow, controlled way. Go back. Go back. Go back. So there put my hand up because he wants to rush back it doesn't help that I haven't got the pressure holder on good boy Go back Go back Go back I just want you to relax good boy and not barge over the top of me when we're ready to come out So his lips are still a little bit pursed there. I'm just going to wait here with him until he switches off. Good. Good. And the wind doesn't help because obviously he's, he's thinking, well, the wind's going to push the partitions round a little bit more. Good boy. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So I use a sound as well as my, my body movements so that eventually he will just listen to the sound. Back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Good lad. Good. Good boy. Go back. Go back. Good. Now we've got the licking and chewing. But you know, he's looking at the gateway, wanting to dart out. So we're just going to wait until he doesn't feel like he wants to come over the top of me. He's completely distracted now, and I need him to be thinking of me. Go 
Ivan. nicely. Released into his little turnout, we have the gate that I've bodged that doesn't quite fit this gap, but until we get a new one, there's not a lot I can do, but it's got the chain around it. And then these two strands of bungee that we can open up whenever we open the gate that I'm about to electrify. So we have one of our solar energizers here. Turn it on, you can see this green light flashes and it's attached onto the wire here and earthed onto the bit of metal. And I'm hoping that he won't mess with it. The chances are he's going to lean against it once and it's going to give him a little, a little shock. But from that, hopefully he'll understand that he can't keep barging the gate. Isn't that lovely? He's having mutual scratches with Annie. And I might put Annie in with him if he doesn't settle on his own in here. Can you just not pull her mane out, please? This is why a lot of ours don't have big long manes because they do this and we could keep them plaited up and covered the whole time but that's not much fun for them, is it? Not when you're itchy and you want to have a good scratch. Look at all that hair flying out. Just heading up there with Simon with the strimmer. So I'm going to keep a very close eye on this young man once the noise starts, which I can do because I'm over here giving Teddy Bear a tail and leg wash at the moment.
Nero? Nero, you're not a mountain goat, sweetheart. So he's got a little bit unsettled now because you can hear the strimmer about to start. And he knows now that he can't push on the gate. So this may be his escape route of choice to try and go up the side of the rocks. Keeping company. So Annie is a very, very good babysitter. She's a very good disciplinarian in a nice, kind way. Although she won't be very impressed with the electric. I'm just gonna go in and pick up some of the rocks that Nero's brought down. You've got to just learn to accept that these noises happen.
funnily enough, these gates are up here because when we first built this turnout, Annie jumped out of here from a standstill. So she knows all about mountaineering and hopefully can tell Nero that it's not appropriate. It's really interesting and this is where Annie is so smart. She's actually blocking that corner and I swear that she just knows that she needs to stop him from trying to climb up there. Annie's doing a very good job of stopping Nero from doing any more rock climbing. The strimming continues. And he's now much more relaxed and standing at the hay bar whilst Annie still protects the rocks. This is a really important part of the training and Nika who has always been quite stressy but works so well with JD. The fact that she can tolerate sound like a swimmer over there up at the top end of the arena where it's always that little bit scarier is a testament to their relationship so you can see there she's getting a little bit frightened just because that's the nature of who she is and Jodie will just take the time with her, get her there to relax down because she just wants her to learn that regardless of what's going on, she can feel safe. But you know, some horses find it easier to relax during things like this than others. And it's who Nika is. She will always have that edge about her where something sudden a sudden movement a sudden noise will make her jog around a bit and dance a bit but as long as she can be respectful to the space between her and Jodie that's acceptable for her So there, Jodie's just using the stick to tap on her because that's one of the signs to say, no, you need to just switch off and relax. Do we not mind strimmers now, Nero? Annie's going to sulk with me now. Confining her in here as babysitter. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Her and Hida are two of the best babysitters. And I have got a bit of video from several years ago of Annie with uh, a young, quite challenging mare in this very turnout that is absolute gold because it's, it's a real eye-opener into horse behaviour and how they react with each other and why they do it. And I'll dig that out one day to share with you all. You're the best educator of other horses and me. You've taught me more than any other horse in my life. And then there was peace. So Bear's in, he's had his sedation. He's got a hole here for him into the front there. Yeah. yeah. But not waking him up, obviously. And then Rob is there doing the shock wave. Paul, that's Tamara's job to go skip diving. Would you like a hand? I think you need a hand. Please don't fall on any glass or wire. Right, okay, I'm gonna stop videoing and come and help you. Hold on. So Hull started the massive clear out in the barn of all the old furniture that's falling apart. I have, yeah, I'm making spiders homeless. Oh, poor little spiders, they'll find a new home. And then the lockers that Bailey and I picked up yesterday, I think are primarily going to go in the barn now. We might manage to save one for the office. No, I have to go 
get down. There we go. Well done. Beautifully done. Thank you. Bear is fully recovered from his sedation and helping himself to the hay hole, which he can take full advantage of right now because Annie's still in with Nero. Where's your tool? On the ground. Oh, how disrespectful. Tamara's cut up the Nero gate. So that's going in the skip now. And then... Like a nice through butter. You see you're smiling again now. Only because the sun's come out. Yeah, and now it's gone again. But it's not raining, it's so nice. Oh, yeah. Look, Teddy's coming over to see what's going on now. There's Jim and Nell, Maybelline and Niki News. And Annie just round the corner there, still babysitting Nero. Bear, have you come up here because you heard we're going to have a bonfire and you want to warm yourself by the fire? There, there was a time where he would have been petrified by me moving this bit of plastic. Oh, look, there we go. He says, I'm not keen on it, Mum. I'm going to disappear this way. He didn't mind a minute ago. No, that's it, he's gone. Many of you will know that Wendy has made some fabulous creations for us, including those felted scarves that we've raffled for each of the horses' birthdays, some wonderful felted tote bags, She's also made these very, very beautiful, we call them heartfelt hugs. And I've just spent a little bit of time today getting them photographed and up on our website. And you can see how very, very pretty and unique each little heart is. Again, using the tail hair from the horses. This one's Nero, obviously. So it's the felted wool from Mars warble sheep. And then the little heart in the middle is made from their tail hair. We have a limited number of these available, but I'm sure Wendy will be more than happy to make a few more throughout the year. Well, Hull has done an amazing job through here so far with clearing up, clearing out these cabinets. It's all stored on the chests here. So that's going to be this weekend's job to get these out, get the new cabinets in, get everything cleaned up and stored away. And look, as usual, Twix has come round to see me. What's up, Twixie? Mm -hmm. Little Twixie. And I can hear the slurping through here of everyone having their tea. So Hole's just fed everybody. Everyone's slurping. Nero's thrown most of his all over the floor. Nice and sloppy. Hello, my gorgeous. Oh, is that tasty? Is that tasty? Oh, teddy bear. You've finished yours already. Mind you, you don't get a huge amount, do you? Hey, oh, little man. Oh, you little man. You had a lovely day. You have, haven't you?